Okay guys, we're up in the Wilton Marina, back at the boat. Um, I'm just going to want to empty some stuff out of it really. And I think they said they're going to move it to a pontoon for me. So that's what we're going to go and do. Well, that was it, was it? Yeah. That one. Mm. Okay, guys, this is the uh, back of the boat. This is what I'll be seeing when I'm driving. Pooling along. You put a camera up front, can't you? Yeah, see who comes up. Yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna have a screen here, it's just for videoing. Yeah. I don't think anyone puts a, like a dash cam. <laughs> I don't think you see it now. <laughs> I don't think it's the boat. This is a lock outside the marina. It looks <laughs> massive. On YouTube. So if you're, what you're watching it on, it don't look that big. Yeah. Look at how deep this is then. You see why they mark that seal, can't you? Mm. If you're back here, when the water's going down, you're back in your boat and then be up there and the front's going to be in there. Mm. Yeah, but if it draws up here when you come up, it's level with that. Mm. And then it goes down, and you'll be on that seal. Mm. But my boat's only 40 foot. Mm. I'll be well, well past them down there somewhere. Hi guys, it's, uh, I forgot the date again, as per usual, it's Sunday, <laughs> the 30th of May, um, back at the marina, We've got uh, my brother coming and his wife can help me clean the boat, I bought a hoover, I'm a bit early I think, I don't think they're open, although I think someone's gone in, it's nine o'clock, I think they've moved the boat, I can't really, I can't, I don't think I can see it down there, I think they've moved it to a pontoon, which would be good, if they have, it's all very stressy, all this, yeah, well, I'll get back to you in a minute. Gonna see if I can get the key. Get on the boat. Got stuff to. Got stuff at the back of the car there. I don't know if you can see that. Just thought I'd bring some stuff up. Save a trip, wouldn't it? See you in a minute. Hi 
Right guys, this is, we're inside the boat now. Emptying it out, cleaning it and stuff. Just got rid of a load. I think the engine's been serviced now. This is Melinda. Oh no! Alright, I'll pan it round you, don't worry. Yeah. I'm just uh, supervising. Yep. Cozy. And out here, oop, at the front, good seating area out here. I still haven't found the water inlet. No idea where that is. Might even be in here, mightn't it? Hmm. Little things in here, there's something there, I don't know what that is. Two bottles, both look connected. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Dual connection. It's dry in there. Which is a good sign. Petrol can down there, I don't know what the other one is. I'll assume the gas is on. That's a nappy pin down there. Let's have a look under here. Oh, a nappy pin. Handy. Light. Horns over there, but it doesn't look very good. Tested all this yet. Chimney needs a uh, cap. That's the boat from out here. Nice. Looks nice now, it's all clean. Hi guys, yeah, we got this far. Thank you very much for joining me on the journey. And thank you to all the new subscribers um, to the channel. It's really good. Um, it's motivating. <laughs> it is motivating. Uh, so, and if you haven't subscribed yet, press the subscribe button. Uh, this video is a bit late. I do try and get, I want to try and get them out at least every Monday morning. Um, that's my that's my goal. So just that we've, as you can imagine, all this stuff going on running a bit late um, but yeah lessons learned one buying a boat you've got to sort of uh, go for it really I mean I like that boat I just bought I was looking at it and and unless my brother because my brother told me well I'll, I'll come with you that motivated me to go ahead with it um, I think I would have looked at it and thought, mm, okay, but not phoned and gone and viewed it or something. Sometimes you've just got to push yourself to do things. Well, I do. And uh, I found the whole process really stressy because it's a lot of money and it was slightly over the budget. So now it's like juggling money, as you can imagine. So I think the less, a lesson there is when you're buying a boat is to have more than your budget if you can. I mean, I couldn't. Not everyone can. Um, and if that's the case, then you just like me, you just got to deal with it. Um, but if you if you can get yourself a budget and then have about a, at least a grand just to pay for the fees um, to get you out the dock, as it were, with the licensing and the insurance and little things like I had the servicing done. So I'll get the engine serviced. At least I know it's been serviced. Um, so that's a lesson I learned. Well, that's a bit late now. 
yeah have a, at least a couple of grand or grand over your budget and then you won't be so stressy so yeah Ooh, it's a lot of money um, initially which a few of the comments on the video said was talking about that is is quite an expense and it is um, I've got other things which obviously in the back of my head like the needs to be off grid it needs the solar panels put on it's all money 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 and getting it done it's different the electric is different to what the motorhome was but I'm not even gonna I'm trying not to think about it too much because otherwise it's just too too ugh, it's a headache um, Melinda well me and George went up there as you saw we, we emptied a lot out of the boat we emptied all the cupboards went up there again on Sunday with Melinda who cleaned the boat like a whirlwind like an unstoppable force she went from the pointy end the stern all the way to the back of the boat and she was really like quick and efficient with it and it just looks it just looks spotless if it wasn't for the dirty carpets and stuff you know and the general old oldy look of the boat it was quite good it was clean she got rid of all most of the, the cobwebs on the inside anyway you couldn't get to some on the outside um and it was it looks livable you can move in there now so that was really good they moved the boat to the end i don't know if you noticed that on the on the video but it was moved to the uh where the workshop was the floating dockers or whatever they call it and that's where they do the engine service so I'm sure, i think they did it because the panels were moved on the floor um so now it's just down to finances of getting that license fee sorted and the where i was saying you could pay for three months licensing when you go through the form to do that you only get the off the option of six months and 12 months the three month option isn't there which is real kick in the teeth you know because i could I, I could barely afford the three month license um because of the overspend so it's knocked me for it's knocked me back a bit i don't know maybe i'll find them up well i might i have to because very sneakily when I was going through the form just to see what it was going through and I registered, I, I picked uh, continuous cruising and I clicked next next thing I'm getting an email from them telling me that I need the license and I've got till the 30th or something like that it was saying and I thought well I hadn't even submitted the form yet and finished filling it up god they're quick in they <laughs> yeah so I'm I don't know if I'm going up the Tuesday well, I'm going to phone them Tuesday. Um, but really, the boat's ready as far as it can be ready. Now it's all just down to finance of getting the boat out, licensed. I mean, it's insured. So it's really just the license in there holding me back. And then a bit of money for, um, you know, the usual things, living. Um, I know it sounds like it's a real sad story. Um, it's just that the boat was over the budget and it's a bit like all your wages gone before it should be gone so uh, and obviously i've got other bills to pay which i need to, need to work and you know, i pay you know what it's like you know i'm not saying i can't afford it i can afford it i think it's just like the boat and the initial boat wiped me out and that brings me to that tip with that, that thing where i say have that extra money and then you won't be struggling and stressing when you buy your boat you see I mean there is ongoing things obviously and there always will be on boats I think um, and you do need a budget in case it breaks down and stuff and I know that's gonna, that can happen so I need to well it's just time isn't it time just, just got to move on and build up that money pot again and stress levels will come down and then you can start enjoying it oh but those locks we went up we saw people using those locks and it was like a military operation they were just like a, a team of people family families i didn't even saw any solar boaters going for it but we saw families and they were like like a it was like a military operation everyone knew what they were doing it was just like clockwork and one of the couples was in a single uh, one boat and they waited for the other boat to come up to share the lock and the team grew how efficient is that 
That'd be good, wouldn't it? Especially if you're on your own and there's a team on a double lock and they wait for you. I think that'd be really handy, wouldn't it? And good for a solo boater. I think, oh, look at that. No, there's a team there on double locks. Can I squeeze in? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Anyway, thank you again for um, for subscribing. Um, it really does motivate me and you, you'll be surprised what difference it makes. There's no money in YouTube, especially with the numbers I've got. So I do it because it keeps me um, sane. It gives me things, you know, goals to do. Like even driving up there on Sunday, you know, in my head I'm thinking, oh, I can, I can vlog that. You know, so it motivates you to get out and do stuff. You know, that's the way I look at it. Anyway, be good out there. Take care. And uh, if you're on the on the canals, maybe we'll bump into each other on the canals. And if not, look forward to some really good videos because I want to set up my audio equipment on the front of the boat when I'm cruising and get some really good audio um, with some footage just to give people that aren't on the canals a really, a really good feel to the sounds, even if it's a noisy boat passing. You know, it'd be nice background noise, wouldn't it? Although that be those would be on different videos, but we we're, we're throwing clips from it into the vlog you know so you know what know what, what know what i'm up to and i'd love to see what other people are up to i watched loads of youtube videos it'd be nice to bump into some of the some of the fellow youtubers on the canal you know yeah it'd be nice it's really hot at the moment out here we're getting a bit of a heat wave so that's good yeah anyway talk again soon i'm i'm, rab I'm rabbiting on again and i am sitting in my car because it's too noisy in the house Anyway, be good out there. Talk again soon. Take care.